We're sitting down with Broncos owner Kerry Walton Penner here at the NFL's annual league meeting. Kerry, I know this is your second annual league meeting as an owner. So how much do you enjoy coming here? It's been an incredible journey the last year and a half, almost two years. It's been really fun to work with Sean and George and kind of uh, come into this off season knowing that we're looking ahead and really having the continuity that we're able to have this season. So that's been great. At the league level, it's great to come here. It's really been, um, we've been incredibly welcomed by the NFL, other NFL owners, the league, and getting involved with both the NFL Foundation Board, which I serve on, um, and the DEI committee of the NFL. I know you're deeply involved in the Denver Broncos Foundation as well, and within that past the past year, it's more than doubled its financial commitment to, you know, grantees and program partners. How much has that meant to you? Well, it's something that's really important to me to realize that we've had the opportunity to impact in the last year 175,000 youth across Colorado is really amazing. Our partnership with the community across Broncos country has been very long standing. It's something that the franchise is really well known for. And Allie Engelken, who is just a fantastic leader of our community service area and our executive director of the foundation is fantastic to work with. But it's been great to expand our programming in the foundation to think about new and different ways that we can continue to work deeply with community partners. The big buzz this week, as you know, is of course, the Broncos announced that they're debuting a new uniform in 2024. Can you tell me a little bit about that process? Well, it's a long process. I, I will say that um, it's been really fun to be a part of it. And the design process has been really a team effort. We started really with getting feedback from, from our fans and found that we definitely are ready for something different. We've had our current uniform since 1997, so it's been a number of years. and. We're just, we're really excited about it and looking forward to a lot of great success with these new uniforms. I know Broncos fans are already excited to see it. On the alumni front, it seems like the Broncos have really put in a concerted effort to step it up in that area. Why has that been such a priority for you? Well, our Broncos history is based on our alumni. And so for me, it was really important to understand from our alumni and to hear from our alumni what it is that they experience when they were current NFL players, the transition out of playing for the NFL, and then what they've been doing since then, and really honoring all of our players and what they've done to create the history that we have. We have an incredible winning tradition. They're incredible representatives of the franchise and of the organization, and our fans love them. In addition to supporting alumni, you personally make sure that the current Broncos players are treated in a first-class way. I know the NFLPA just recently released that survey and the Broncos were highly ranked in a number of categories. So what were your takeaways from that? It's data that's really helpful to have. It identifies areas that we can improve. I think that we have, um, we've certainly made a concerted effort across the organization to improve in the areas that we can on the short term and then thinking about long term as well. We have the new facility that we'll, we're working on and that we'll be breaking ground on later this year. The things that are important to our players are important to us. Well, Carrie, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to sit down. Always a pleasure. Thank you.